and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. My name is Roy and today I am on the ESC United channel. Yes, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, because we will be kicking off a little series that will be happening on this channel in the off-season to keep you guys entertained a little bit and us as well, I guess. Um, I will be doing a series where I'll be reacting to a few older years. So we go way back in the past and, you know, we're going to listen to a few years. Um, I will let you guys uh, give me some suggestions from years that I should react to next time. So please put those in the comments already. What should I react to next? What year? And preferably before 2000. That's the most fun. Because a lot of people on the channel probably might not have known all of the songs from those years either. Um, why are we starting with 1982? Well, it is the anniversary of 1982. Um, it's been 40 years since that competition was being held and this entire week on our ESC United website we'll have articles, we'll have deep dives, we'll have rankings, we have everything to celebrate the anniversary of 1982. So make sure to check out our website to see all of those articles, to see all of those facts. There's a lot of stuff that some of our guys dig up and it's amazing. Like I read them and it's amazing. So check those out. Um, and my part, my little stone into the basket, is this reaction video. I'll be reacting to all the songs from 1982 in recap style. Uh, I know I usually hate doing recaps, but I've listened to all the songs from Eurovision ever now, because I did it last year, it was my task to listen to all the Eurovision years ever, so I know all the songs uh, at least once now. So that's good. Um, yeah, I'll be listening to a recap, and I hope you guys will join me alongside with that. I am using a recap video by ESC Arturo. Um, thank you very much for putting this on YouTube. And um, yeah, shout outs to him. If you want some old school recaps, he's got more. So uh, go check out his channel as well. I uh, always love to give a shout out to the ones that I'm reacting to because I think that's fair. Um, yeah, I think we should just jump into things. I'm clicking full screen. Uh, and without further ado, let's click play. Ah, it's always so lovely to have that theme song just come through your speakers. I mean, my headphones. I don't have speakers right now. Yeah, we started with Portugal. I love Portugal. It's, it's a very fun little song. And I always love those kind of songs that are very unique and very, like, different than the rest. And Portugal really does that for me in 1982. Bam bomb. Thumbs up for me. It's not done, but thumbs up for me. Like, look at this. How fun is it? We're the clapping. Hey. How can you not like, not like this? The next song is by Luxembourg. Svetlana court après le temps. Okay. She has a bit of a um, unique voice. I think it's really much a bit like gravy. Uh, not gravy, a uh, marmite maybe. Uh, you really like it or you really don't? And for me, it's more on the spectrum of I'm not the biggest fan of her voice. Uh, for the rest, it's kind of your standard kind of. 80s ballad song in French. Norway! Jan Teigen and Anita Skorgan. Adieu. Jan Teigen has been there more times, if I remember correctly. It's a lovely little ballad sung to each other. You immediately start to sway back and forth, don't you? Mm. It's pretty. Instrumentally, it's very standard, I would say. Very like a standard. But it's cool. UK! One step further the bottom. Back in the day, when UK made fun, they knew how to make fun. And I wouldn't be there. I know someone who loves this song. And, you know, why not? It's fun. 
maybe one of those UK songs that you don't necessarily remember or know uh, immediately, but once you've heard it before, you're like, wow, it's cool. Turkey! Neko with Hani, question mark. Turkey needed some time to really get into the groove of things. Um, they struggled in the beginning a little bit, but they really got into it later. Especially towards the 90s, they really started to get your uh, I mean, they won eventually in the 2000s as well. Yeah, it's a fun song. Don't you love it? But in a field of songs, this is not necessarily the one that you immediately pick out and like love and vote for. Up next, Finland. This is one of my favorite guys. I have a bit of a bias towards the Finnish language. I love it so much. I mean, here's the Finnish flag as well. Um, it just sounds so cool, and there's a lot of like artists in the 80s that Finland sent that have a really raspy voice. Something I really resonate with as well. Are we getting a chorus? Hopefully. Pommin. Yes, Nuku Pommin. Nuku Pom. Nuku Pommin. It's catchy. I can't help it. And this is where you should know that I have a bit of a thing with French chansons, kind of. A lot of the times I feel like the French language is so beautiful, it's very romantic, so a lot of times I feel like French-speaking countries can get away with lesser interesting instrumentals, or maybe even less interesting vocals, just because the language is so romantic and beautiful. Uh, but for me that doesn't really work all the time, and this is more of that like basic kind of ballad for me, that doesn't really confuse me, doesn't really move me that much. But hey, if you love French chansons, then this is completely your cup of tea. You gotta keep in mind that everybody has their own taste in music, like always. There's not a single person that shares the same taste, not a single person. Anafisi mono agapi. Yes! Cypress can be really good um, in the 80s or in the 70s. I don't really remember where I have them like as my winner. But yeah, the, the Greek language is beautiful. And you know, this is kind of that sway song. I think this is more like in the middle of my, my ranking. I don't fully remember on top of my head, but I'll have to re rank them after this, by the way. So I have to submit that today. Fourth wall. Broken. Die after die. It's like Sweden, but after they won um, with, with Waterloo, with. Is Digaloo Digalay after this or before this? Ooh. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know on top of my head. I don't want to give an answer to that. But it's like it really went for this kind of. Not Schlager, but like those fun kind of sway, like, yeah, yeah let's go songs. And you know, it's fun, definitely fun. It doesn't always work the way they want it to, though. But who doesn't enjoy just swaying back and forth sometimes? Austria! Mess with Sonta. Wunderbar! You can really hear like the Austrian accent in the German they speak. Love it. The thing is with this song, it's very empty. They have the beat, and their, so their voices aren't necessarily rich. Um, and just with the two of them, not having a backing vocalist either, it makes it feel a tad bit empty for me. But they're having fun. They're having fun. I don't really know what to say to be honest. It's just a bit of fun. It's not the best piece. Belgium! Very hit or miss for me. Very hit or miss, Belgium. 
I love some of their songs. I, I, I don't like some of their songs either. And this is a bit what I said with the French language. Like, if this song didn't have the French language, it would only be half as interesting. And that for me, like, drags it down just a slight bit. But hey, I get it. French language is beautiful. Also, the beat is maybe not as rich or as like out there. It's very like mid. Enjoyable listen. Not one of my favorites. Yeah. Very much so. Oh. Oh. Mm. Love, love, love this. Lucia with L. We really want to clap along. I was like a. Ma, 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 ma. I don't know how to pronounce it. And she's demanding on the stage as well. Like, she demands your attention. It's always a plus. And her voice is interesting too because it sounds very full and she shows a bit of range, like she knows how to intonate words and the song. That's a fun song. Yeah. Next! Woo. Video! Video! From Denmark. Honestly, this is like one of those. I hate saying guilty pleasure because I don't think you should ever feel guilty for something you enjoy. Um, but it, I guess that is a term that a lot of people use for this kind of song. You know? Oh, oh. Oh, wait. I messed it up a little bit. I don't remember it. Video. I enjoy it, I'm not even ashamed of it. You just want to dance to it, don't you? I hope you're dancing back at home. It would be wonderful. Good dancing. It was good. Ah! Yugoslavia! Hello, hello. Yeah! Microphone was a bit weird there. They're not the best singers, you know. They're not the most charismatic singers. And that works against you a lot of the times, especially the charisma part. Like, a lot of people underestimate the charisma. But in the end, it is a televised show. And as a song, like, it doesn't really stand up instrumentally either. Granted, I don't know what they're singing about, it could be very deep. This is fun. Hello. 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 But I would always prefer a video. Of Denmark. Video, video. It's just a tad to amateur six. Ah. I love it. Israel is different gravy in. The old school years, they have a lot of gems, and this is definitely one of them. And this is in fact my favorite song of this year. And you'll get it when you hear the chorus. The verses are fine. And Israel really has that concept of like five backing dancers and one singer. A lot. And they did it very well. Ah, uh, I love it! Ora, da 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 it's really Dutch, kind of. Like, you would still hear this type of music on the radio, on like those Dutch radio stations. 
it's not the most sophisticated song. It's not the most unique song. It's not the most interesting song, maybe either. But it's a good crack. I enjoy it. That wink. I'm good with winking as well. Yeah, I'm terrible with winking. He's a charismatic performer, though. I could really imagine, like, my parents or my... Yeah, my parents probably. Go to a show of him. Or him, basically. Who's this? It is... Ireland. The Dusky. You know, in the 80s, you really have, like, those little dances. It's so fun. It's so fun. Not my favorite song though. I think it's a little with the English language, like in a way, being able to sing in English is kind of a bit of a cheat code. As if you like I don't know, a lot of people I mean not a lot of people back in the day, but there is a bigger chance of people knowing English than there is people knowing Dutch, Greek I don't know. Any other language that isn't very big, like French or English was way more common back in the day. So, it's easier for people to understand what you're singing about. Back in the day, that would be kind of matter. I'd say. Our winner, spoiler alert, Nicole Ambitionfrieden. What I love the most is that in the reprise at the end of the show, she did like a version where she was singing in Dutch and I think in English as well. It's just a bit of an evergreen, isn't it? It's lovely, it's pleasant. It's not my favorite song. I wouldn't put it on myself. I would rather go for Bam Bam, Video Video, uh, even the Dutch song, but I don't really get why this one. It stands out. A bit of peace, who doesn't like peace? We need peace in the world right now as well. So uh, yeah, it's still relevant. It will always be relevant. And that's good. And it's enjoyable. It's fun. This is totally unrelated, but I, I put these like those shelves behind me. It really bothers me that this question mark is like reverse in my camera because I use like the camera in reverse. <laughs> yeah. It's a mirrored question mark, I'm sorry about that. I don't, know, I don't know what to say really, you probably know the song, it's enjoyable, it's okay, it's fun, not my favorite though. Hey, it did win a competition and I totally get that. So yeah, those were all the songs of 1982 and what a wonderful ride it was. So let's give our final thoughts, let's wrap it up a little bit and I'll see you guys there. And there you have it. Yes, I just reacted to all of the songs in recap style from 1982. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think 82 is quite a very fun year. Like, there weren't that many songs that I disliked, I would say. Um, so that's really good, because that's sometimes definitely the case. Uh, I definitely need to redo my ranking I just saw. I definitely have a little bit of a different opinion on a few of the songs. Um, but I will discuss my top three with you. Um, I would say, for me... In third place, I would put Finland with Kojo and Nuku Pomin. It's just fun. Finnish just really has a bias for me. You know, everyone has their bias and Finnish is such a beautiful language. I love it. And um, just him having that raspy voice and just Nuku Pomin. It's just a bit of epicness and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Number three, Finland. Number two is Spain. Yes, Lucia with L. Oh, she demanded my attention and I loved every second of it. Um, it was a catchy song and, and she delivered it insanely well. Uh, yeah, well done, Spain. And my winner of 1982. Is it a surprise? Is it a surprise? No, it isn't. It is Israel with Hora from Avi Toledano. Sorry, I'll look at my laptop for a moment there. Um, it's absolutely lovely. It's a very fun song, a very catchy chorus. It's very memorable and... You know, I think it's a rightful winner for me. Um, of course, Germany won in the real thing. Um, it's not in my top three, but I totally get why it won. I said it before. 
And I don't really get why a lot of people gravitate towards it. And again, peace, it is still a relevant topic and it will always be a relevant topic, unfortunately. It's how the world works, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Anyways, let me know in the comments, what are your favorites of 1982? If you had not listened to all these songs before, what did you think of them? Do you think 1982 is a great year? Do you think it isn't? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, I will see you in this next little series video that we're doing, and uh, I hope to see you there as well. Um, but yeah, for me, today, goodbye. <laughs>